Hi, today I'm going to be talking about um, closing positions. So let's assume that you have a position open. Um, and the idea is that through the API you want to close the position because it's either in a profit that you like or it's in a loss that you want that you think is too de detrimental. So essentially doing that. Okay, so I've got this little um, class here. Uh, there's an, uh, an initialization, or uh, we're calling the class and then we're doing an initialization here. We're then creating a position. Um, we're then creating, we're then checking all our open positions. We're then getting that position. Um, and we're then populating that into our close position function. And from there, it will, it will close on forward, uh, close on further. So we, we've we spoke about these uh, this stuff before, so I'm not really going to delve deep into that. We've got an open position, we've got a, a position management, so we're getting our open positions, and then we're diving into this. So yeah, you can see we provided a position. Uh, we didn't provide a deal ID or size. Um, so it just felt f for ease, it was just simpler. We do a simple check here to check if our position is a of a panda series. So when we do the, the the function to get our positions, we produce a series. And we then check if our position is not none, then we, we get our size. And when we do that position, um, get all positions, it produces a special parameter called deal size. And we're basically checking the whole size of our contract. So our spread bet contract or deal, we're getting the entire size of that and populating that as the size. So that's how much we want to close by. Otherwise, we can customize the size of how much we can, we want to close by by putting in a custom value, and then we're saying if uh, our size is equal to none, um, in this case it wouldn't be. Um, that's if we populate the deal ID and size. We're then getting the deal. So in the case that it was none, we're then getting the deal ID for that particular position. And then we're populating the date, the details from there. Otherwise, if we put a custom size in, make sure it's rounded to two decimal places. Um, and then we we put in our position here. Now, I I think I did make an error here. I should have made a a like a, a a separate feature here where I could just put in the deal size and the size of the position. Um, but I just felt that in any case, when I am going to ponder for a position, I'm going to get a whole position back, not only the deal size. So I just felt there was no need to actually put a, a special uh, if case if I only provided the deal ID. So I just left it blank. But um, yeah, so all we need to do here is provide a position and a size if we want to. The deal size here is not really relevant. Um, yeah, so we can go here, and here we're getting close positions. So we're providing a position and a size. We're then checking if our we're then just stating as a fact that our that our direction could either be a buy or a sell. But here we're just saying let it be a buy, and then we then check our direction. And if our direction is equal to a buy, then we set direction to a sell. Otherwise, leave it as it is. So uh, instead of doing a, like an if else statement, we're just sticking with an if. Um, that way, we, it's it's easier to it's a smaller piece of code and it's simpler to write. Um, a deal ID here. We have a position deal ID. We then set that as that. Our order type is market, so we're, we're basically exiting out at a market order. Our size, so the size we want to exit out by, usually is the whole contract. Um, and then you can see here we're going on to the IG API. Where we're specifying specifying specif specifying these parameters, and then you can see here, um, we then goes into the actual the meat of the IG trading uh, API I got from uh, from GitHub. So we're just going onto that, and then once that returns, it returns a response. And then it checks if our response is either none, then it's either connection fault 
or the position doesn't exist. So I've left it up to the to the well for me to program in later on. So when I'm in the higher level of um, code, so that being the actual algorithm. If we come across an, an a case like this, then depending on our needs, we'll make adjustments based on that rather than just hard coding it somewhere here. So yeah, once we return that, um, we then get this, and then uh, and we can also print out the output. Yeah, so let's run this thing then. Okay, so let's start debugging this then. Um, so you can see a position was generated, we stopped here, we're then going into our closed position, we then have positions which has a uh, list of one and a series here. So if we go into that, you can see we're passing position, it recognizes it as a series, we're then getting the deal size. We're then going to close position with the position we have and the size we have, which is one as a float. Um, we're then checking what this is. We can then sell that, say that the buy direction is a buy, so we have to do the opposite to exit that position. So we're doing a sell. We then got the deal ID. We then got the, as a market order. We got the size. Filling out those. We then go into the open position. Um, IG API. Um, that then sends it off as a request. And then if we get out of that, so our response has closed. So you can see here it's vanished. It's been accepted. Deal reference. Fully closed. Profit minus two pounds seventy. Yeah, so you can see here it's pretty much done the thing that we wanted it to do, and uh, yeah, we print it out again because we wanted to print it out. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, so that's basically how you do that. So um, yeah. I mean, you can put in custom values, like you could put in a size of, let's say you wanted to 0.1, so you wanted to close it incrementally over a period of time. Um, for any case, uh, yeah, and that's essentially how you do it. That's everything. Uh, thanks for watching.